All right, by popular request, here is number seven. I'm going to click New, Standard IPT, Create. I'm going to go home, click on the plus sign next to Origin, and I'm actually going to start this one on the front plane, which is YZ. Click YZ, Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to draw a rectangle, and I'm going to dimension that three long, by 1.25 tall. And now I can go ahead and do that cutback thing that this has because the circle, the curve part, is actually over here so I can measure it on the sketch. I'm going to click on rectangle. I'm going to pick a point. And the height of this is 0.5 and it is 0.375 from the top and it should be one deep. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and trim out this piece here. It doesn't want to let me do it because it has a dimension. So you know what, I'll just leave it. And I'm going to go finish sketch and I'm going to extrude. And I'm going to extrude this part 1.25. Now I'm going to go to the top view and I'm going to do start 2D sketch. I'm going to go to project geometry and pick project cut edges. I'm also going to use rectangle on this guy. The dimensions are the same, so from here to here should be 3 eighths, 0.375. The width of the cut should be 0.5, and the length of this should be 1. That looks right, so I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to extrude with a cut. Cut and it's going to go all the way through which is 1.25. So there is the start to this thing. Now we just need to put the curves on it. So I'm going to do start 2D sketch and I'm going to start with the one on the top plane. I'm going to use project cut edges and then I'm going to go get my circle. If I zoom up on this you will be able to see a green dot in the center. That is the center of the circle so go ahead and click there and then click at the top. You don't need to dimension the circle if you constrain it this way because you've constrained the center on the center on the midpoint of the line. However if you want to dimension it just to make sure it should be 1.25 and it's going to tell you it's a, a um, driven dimension so you can just cancel that. Click trim, get rid of this part of the circle, finish the sketch. We're going to extrude that down. And I don't want to cut it. I just want to flip it, so I'm going to use this one, direction. And I only want to go down 0.375. Alright, now to get this piece down here, I can once again use mirror. So I'm going to click plane, mid plane between two planes, pick the top, pick the bottom, go to mirror, extrusion three, three, for your mirror plane, pick this guy, tell it OK. Now we're going to do the exact same thing over here. So I'm going to put the sketch on the front plane, project cut edges, click on circle, find the midpoint of the circle by finding the green dot, it's pull it out till it touches the outside of the rectangle, click trim, trim away the circle, finish the sketch, extrude, extrude this guy but flip it around, there you go, 0.375, tell it OK, and now I'm going to put the plane back on, so mid plane between two planes, click the outside, click the other side, there's the plane in the middle, 
and then we're going to do mirror. I want extrusion 4. Click mirror plane, select the plane, tell it OK. Now, remember, you cannot delete your mirror planes or any plane that you use in Inventor, or it'll delete the features that, are, that are, you used it to create. So we're going to right click on work plane 1, and we're going to turn off visibility, and we're going to right click on work plane 2, and we're going to turn off visibility. Now, the last thing I have to do are the holes. So I'm going to click on hole. The diameter of these holes, it got cut off on your paper, is 0.5. But before I go and click over here, I'm going to change something. So that I don't have to give it two reference points, I'm going to use concentric. And the reason I'm using concentric is both of these circles, the outer circle and the little circle I'm fixing to draw, go all the way through. So I'm going to click here, make sure that is 0.5. I'm going to click the red arrow next to concentric reference and then I'm just going to click the outside circle and see how it pushes it in the middle. Termination should be through all and there is hole number one. Okay, Hole number two, make sure this is on concentric, come over here, 0.5 diameter, concentric reference, pick the outside circle, magic happens, tell it OK. I'm now going to put a color on it Let's do red. And I'm going to save it in my practice folder. And then I'm going to go to I, New, PLTWA, Create. Project name is Practice. Put in your name, your actual name, the date, and the file name red number seven, whatever you want to call it. OK. Tell it OK. Click on base. There's the front view. There's the top view. There's the right side view. There's the ISO. Right click create. Drag these guys up. Double click on your isometric view. Click the shaded button. Make it pretty. And now the last thing you guys have to do, as always, because we have holes, is you have to do the center line. So click annotate, come over to the plus sign, click the big circle so it gets all of them. All right, so now we're going to do center line bisector. And I'm going to click center line bisector, and then I'm going to click these guys for my secondary center lines. These center lines don't look like the center lines you guys are used to seeing, meaning they're not long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, because the drawing's so small that Inventor has shrunk them. So as long as they stick out of the drawing, we know they're center lines. So there's that one. I am not going to put one over here for this hole because the simple reason these visible lines for this cut override those hidden lines that are there. Okay, So remember, if you ever have hidden lines and, visible, and object lines in the same spot, you always draw the object lines. Okay, So all of my lines and center lines are done, and now you guys can print it to the 5430.